how was it? I want to hear when it first, it, you know what I mean? Like the first happened, day when everything. It was like, a, because I felt I took on most of the pressure of her career. Like if she didn't make it, I would be the blame. So it was me that was pushing the hardest to make everything happen so shit wouldn't fall. Because if everything fall, fell, it was going to be me. They're going to say, Johnny, you the... You shouldn't have been fucking with this nigga, woo woo, and that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make sure I gave nobody reason, no reason to say it was me. That was my whole little ordeal. So when it happened, it was a, it was like a weight off my back. Like finally, because being from Fort Worth, nothing happens for nobody. So it was like when that happened, it was an accomplishment. Like what the fuck, it happened. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You end up going to 1017 after the black balling tries to happen. But how yeah. long does it take, though, from after the moment the, you, you meet her, start building, how long does it take for that to happen? That's what It I'm, took three years. Three years, okay. Three years we were shooting videos. First, The first year was more of building the artist, like artist, man, artist um, development, development mm -hmm. which doesn't happen these days. So the first year was artist development, mo mostly what we dealt with. After that, once we started getting the attention, then it was more on figuring out how to market her and what we can do. And being in the in crowd in Dallas, Fort Worth, I tried to change the people she hung around just for the look. Everything I did was business. I was never really focused on a relationship. I was always focused on the business and how to make her get the next look or who was gonna be the next person to see and post her to get that next wave of followers. So. It wasn't my surprise that the relationship went to shit in the end because I was never focused how on the many, relationship. I don't mean to cut you, but how many followers did she have when you first met her and how many did she have when she left? When I first when met her. When I say left, because she ain't left, but when y'all stopped, which, when, when you I stopped being directly her, in contact. She had 15,000 followers. Okay. When I left, she 15, had 175 thousand okay before, so when y'all before, before she started yeah before gucci man before gucci man we was at like 175 that's a great there. accomplishment man yeah. um you should be proud it took three years it took three, three years because yeah. when i talked to carl crawford it was the same question mm -hmm. i asked him about megan the stallion like how many people did she have looking at her right. before you start question. implementing mm -hmm. the you know what you do into her brand when you think about megan the stallion when y'all came together how many did she have a hundred thousand followers when y'all first got I think together she had probably like a hundred and twenty thousand one hundred twenty thousand fo yeah. followers when she was taking that picture with jay z mm -hmm. how many followers did she have she had over a million followers then but that was that was during the time you guys had worked yep. with her to get there. Yep. That yep. was uh Oh, we built it up. Yeah, I yep. seen the I seen the build up. The yep. build up was crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like when you done it, do you think that she and you, you know, you could have got you should have got had a closer relationship with her? Yeah, you know, she's my first big artist. So you see what I'm saying? So, so, but this is where the T Ferris come back and I hate to make him the theme of the night, but it's just what it is, you know. Him knowing and keeping the division between I bought him a new truck just to drive her around in, you know. He next having them day, conversation. You know, next night, now all of a sudden they riding in the front seat mm -hmm. with each other. He picking up. He not even telling me he going to go get her. He going to go. He going to the family functions. He ain't telling me nothing, you know. He all everything was about him positioning himself to where he can get in her head and like turn her, you know, turn make it seem like, you know. It was me against her, you know, when it never was me against her. I never had no issues with her. And it went from being hundreds of thousands to millions, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And this is something that, that, that you know that the work is being put in, but you can easily look at it and then a person, when, how is it, man, and this is something I'll ask you to get back on track, because I'll start going up. Yeah, because I have a question Okay, as well. how is it when you go from independent to being signed to a situation. How was that for you and her? You meaning like how how do we feel when it happened? Yeah, how was it? I want to hear when it first, you know when what I mean? Like first the first happened, day when everything. It was like, a, because I felt I took on most of the pressure of her career. Like if she didn't make it, I would be the blame. So. It was me that was pushing the hardest to make everything happen so shit wouldn't fall. Because if everything fall, fell, it was going to be me. They're going to say, Johnny, you the you shouldn't have been fucking with this nigga. Woo -woo. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make sure I gave nobody reason, no reason to say 
it was me. That was my whole little ordeal. So when it happened, it was a, it was like a weight off my back. Like finally, because being from Fort Worth, nothing happens for nobody. So it was like when that happened, it was an accomplishment. Like what the fuck, it happened. Dope. You know what I'm saying? But you should feel proud. Yeah, but I didn't have time to feel proud because two weeks later I got cut out the situation. Okay, now. Okay, but let me ask but this you question before ask you get your into question okay. for okay. your net. But um, okay, dealing with females, um, you know, females come with the drama, the mood swings, the attitude, all of that sort of stuff. That's why some managers or some people don't like to deal with the females. But what I'm curious about because I see a lot of male um, labels, male uh, managers, and so forth dealing with the females. How hard is it to? Because you're with them all the time, developing them, mm -hmm. strengthening them, whatever. Keep it professional and not cross over into that intimate, building that type of relationship. How hard is that? It was really hard. No, it was this. I'm going to say this. If you, don't have, if you don't have any anything for, you know, just major accomplishments, it's, it's hard to get a female to 100% believe in your vision for her. You know what I'm saying? So... It wasn't my idea, but what I've seen is if I'm in a relationship with a female, it's more easier to get her to focus on the career because she just wants to be with me in a relationship. And it's like, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to build an empire. So it's easy to control the situation. Like, this is what we're going to do. We don't go on dates. We're going on a photo shoot or we're trying to create content for Instagram or we're trying to we're in the studio creating the next song or we're trying to figure out different ways to get these industry artists attention to get that repost that might get those followers to up her to up her level so it was never i was never focused on a relationship it was always business and that's what fucked up in the end but shit. would you would you do it if you had to do it again would you do it the same way or keep it separate or would you not get in a relationship i mean in, with the, her? in that situation i have now that i have something behind my name i've did this with this girl. Females look at me like, oh, you did this. So it's easier now. But back yeah. then, not having nothing under my name, it's like I would have to control the whole situation. Of the same way. And like, it's like what I've noticed, females, they get in relationships and that's a just distraction from anything they got going on. So it's hard to work with females if you're just not with them 24-7. It's hard to work with a female because so much, like a female in her, tw in her early 20s is just... Their focus is on something else. Especially if she's in another relationship and that's going to take away from And that's going to take what's... away from what's going on and mm -hmm. that's going to be a distraction and that's going to be a problem and then there's going to be insecurity with her and her boyfriend and then I ain't mm -hmm. trying to deal that's with it. Right. But if she gets mad at that's you, right. that also mess stuff up if y'all in a relationship because... Exactly. you correct about that and that's what happened. That was the demise of the end because mm -hmm. we had... It's like we got into the regular same problems everybody else right. got into, but it's like, it's gonna be put on a, a magnifying glass cause who she is right. now, and it's like. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.